uh, that button, and then I get to say, what up? How's it going? Oh, it's going good, man. Going good. Good to hear. So we're doing another Deck Doctor. Mm-hmm. This time on Midnight. This time on Midnight. Um, yeah. For all the people out there, if this is your first Deck Doctor, basically what's going to happen is you're going to give me a, um, a rundown of an elevator pitch of how you want your super cool all symboled midnight deck to work. I've never seen this before. And we'll uh we'll go through and we'll we'll make the deck better, or worse, whatever, you know? Yeah, all right. So, you know, midnight pumps speed for the number of keywords the the cards got and my attacks all have like three or four keywords. Yeah. And so on pretty much all the attacks in this deck are like seven speed or more <laughs> when you enhance it with midnight. Yeah. Which makes them really strong pokes because they'll just be like, I, I don't want to block that. And they go to momentum, and that sets up for like big cha- strings of chains with stomp or with a celebrity status. Since you can just celebrity status back in an attack and draw it with midnight and just just make big chains later in the game. Right. Wowzers, that's red. That's super super red. I love this. This is so cool. Um. Double checking, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think with the exception of like one attack in here, which is the piercing de- descent, everything's speed seven or more when I pump it. Right, 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 right. Um, but this is—I mean, it's a five high for whatever, right? Yeah, it's like a five high that if I combo off of pretty much everything, it's a five high seven that I can pump with box of babies for more. Huh. Yeah, box of babies is your tech weapon attack gets one one, and then you just get more draw. Your yeah, jack, so like I mean, box of babies and a wavering slash is cool. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, the first question uh, out the gate is why not? Uh, where is um staff strike? Right, staff strike. I got into the game because of staff strike. I tried to make that work so hard, mm-hmm. and it just doesn't do it. Like. Needing that eight check just makes it feel so bad if you ever check a three on it. Right. And like a lot of the times it's just easy enough to block and you have to commit so many resources just to get anything going with it that it just doesn't pan out a lot of the time. Right. Um so here here's where here's where it get like it gets nice though, right? Because mm-hmm. we can wire arrow. Oh, we're also not playing the the other asset to commit and put cards in. Yeah, no quick grades. No I think, grade. yeah, that one I am uh, just worried that because if I try to use it to bump damage, I'll just have a clogged card pool because I still because I am now playing off the progressive difficulty. Right. But uh, I think the other play I really like is that with earphone jack because stomp ready is an asset. Uh, if I earphone jack to ready a foundation I committed to get the stomp or to get the speed bonus. Right. I get the ready it back and then stomp the ready the jack again to keep re- readying foundations to keep the thing going. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, all right. If we were to force, uh, if I, I think so. Here's 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 what I think. I think slashing whirlwind is really hard to play early enough in the chain to make it relevant. Right. I think mm-hmm. the only way that we actually get to to slashing whirlwind here is, um, either we are hella deep into a turn or hella deep into a game like turn five turn six or yeah. we get lucky with a cool staff strike i think we actually cut these two piercing descendants and put them in the two staff strikes and not worry not worry about staff striking but like if it happens it happens you know right. because yeah, everything yeah. in the everything in the deck is a weapon except for stomp but that's mm-hmm. okay that's okay right and yeah that's, that's, that's fine, fine. Like most of the time, like unless I'm starting stomp, as like it'll probably if I'm starting stomp, it'll probably be just a poke, and then later start something else, pick up stomp from momentum anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, like accidentally, it's a good like one low block, and like it does it. This does this does plenty as like a solid poke all by its lonesome, you know. Mm-hmm. Or if I like I I just like have stomp as its own thing, I'll just like commit foundations on their turn and just like grab grab cards up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, let me uh grab some. Attacks. Honestly, the attack lineup. I think it looks actually stunning. <laughs> I think I think the attack lineup looks really, really good. Uh, I could maybe see about another double blade slash, but being a five diff is like a little tough. Yeah. Um. How do you feel about alleyway ambush? 
I think the only my only um, it's really just the it doesn't synergize with uh, with midnight of course it's literally just a at the end of my uh, going wide turn it's just is another one in there I don't hate it but it it doesn't like synergize in any way it's just a solid attack on its own yeah I think uh, I think if you can find a way to clog your card pool right like if we if so so here's here's a I'm obviously we're talking about midnight and not a uh, not uh my i think that the my decks are going to be all uh or life staff strike decks that just like draw a thousand cards off box full of babies and then just jam bonus uh bonus uh alloy ambushes at the end i think that's the only character that's allowed to play it actually yeah mm -hmm. um unless unless mina gets something crazy because like she says her face downs don't count but then like they the rest of the card pool doesn't count, so like there's not a lot of, there's not a ton of value they can get off of there. I don't know. It just depends on what Mina's cards are, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think I would actually take out two of these piercing descents mm -hmm. because we've already got four stunning low blocks, and the like we've got we've got ten low blocks just in our uh, attacks, and I'll yeah. just put in the two staff strikes here because this thing also gets accidentally seven speed, you know? Yeah, it, it, it is. It's another outlet for the momentum too because of powerful. So, you know, seven speed with powerful can clean it up as well. Yeah. And then and then like it doesn't feel actually it doesn't feel terrible to box full of babies this card either, right? Cuz it mm -hmm. starts out as base 6. It's got powerful too. Um I guess we want to spend our momentum on slashing whirlwind. Man, I just think staff strike in a slashing whirlwind is like so such a crazy line at the late chain. Yeah. So that good. is true. Yeah. Definitely true. Yeah. And it says that like if if our stuff doesn't count later in the progressive, right? It gives us more chances to use midnight's enhance to commit a foundation uh later in the chain, right? Cuz it feels really good committing early, but it feels bad committing late. Yeah. Because we're just like running out true. of resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um if we are able to find room for quick create though, uh wire arrow and quick create says that we do get to just auto pass staff strikes. We'll never check. Yeah, that is true. Wire arrow beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And wire arrow says that like we can use quick create and then shove it into our momentum and then staff strike now has an extra plus two, plus two damage because of the powerful. Mm -hmm. So this thing gets plus two and then wow, they're so they're, man. Staff strike decks just get got more complicated. <laughs> I don't know if they got better, but they certainly got harder to play. <laughs> <laughs> facts that's that's a hard cold fact right there that's funny uh floating around my babies this card's fine you think it's a four of uh i think uh, i put it at a four of mainly for because it's just uh because it's because uh, it's a tech card so it's another mm. five check to put on top with wire arrow yeah that is fair okay that's that's fair that's fair that's fair um i think the enhance on this is fine i think it's only ever good for turning even cards into odd cards and it mm -hmm. is fine for if somebody ever destroys your box full of babies like if that's if there's like if there's like an action in the next set that is like enhance destroy every green card that exists in the entire world um and they just shove all your box of babies into the discard pile you just floating around my babies remove them from the game and then oh you're not you're not that character no Future Tam, cut that part out of the video. That's a terrible thing I've said. <laughs> <laughs> Successful fails, bitch. We'll move on. After your tech attack deals damage, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add a tech card reveal this way. Add it to your hand. So one, two, three cards. That's it. Mm -hmm. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. This probably could get cut down to a two of if we've got better high blocks. Yeah, I can see that. That was definitely higher because of uh, being a high. It being response commit is insane. That is, so, that is so crazy good for a response commit. Response commit, possibly go find a bonus one. Nuts. But there's just not quite enough tech inside of the deck. It's less than half of the deck, right? Yeah. That is definitely true. I guess it's more. 8, 9, 11, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's, it's more by one card. Right, so it's like a 50-50 on just the attacks, but then like maybe you could find floating, and then... And guess, a box full of babies guess, too, yeah. And box, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, it's not the worst. Yeah, I guess. Solid. It's I guess. solid I think, if it I hits. Think two of, I think two of is also like where it's at. I think two of is is, is perfect. I think two of is perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, is this a high block? Uh, here's our here's our four X high block. This card's insane. Response remove yeah. after rival builds or flips the foundation. Remove it. Four mm -hmm. of. This card is going to be one of the most expensive rares in the set. The the thing about next set set two is I think the the rare foundations are going to be money cards. 
Um, also, mm -hmm. Deadlock first form, remove. Your weapon attacks gain stun two for the rest of the combat phase. They all gain stun two except for Stomp. All of them? Yeah. They all yeah. get stun two? You can't go to Deadlock against this card. You can't. It's just not possible. I think that's I think that's extra scary since everything's like speed seven if I want it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yeah, um, I think Villain's defeated. I think Plug In is a bad card. Is there? There's just yeah. not a better all card that we can play to like make our high blocks cooler. Or mm, not really yet. I think I think that's what it was. It's just like it's not a ton of great highs and all. I felt it can't be fixed. Is already a four of okay. Mediator is not in the deck. We should play Mediator instead of Plug-In. It's a spam really? with a slightly mm -hmm. worse block, right? But like it's, mm -hmm. it says in a panic, it gets to block something, right? That's true, I guess. Yeah. As opposed to committing the foundation for minus, like what happens when my opponent doesn't have, uh, when my opponent doesn't have a bunch of keywords on their cards, right? What if their deck is I... fifty-two alloy ambushes? What do we do then, right? We have the Mediator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do. I think. So I'm going to okay. put it at the three of, and then kick the plugins. I, th I think that card's terrible. Terrible. Um, no Rising Starlet. No. But, like, uh, I don't think the weapon foundations are great unless you're doing Staff Strike. That is fair. We did just put two Staff Strikes in the deck. I don't know. Yeah. And if you hate, hey, tell me right now, Did you do you hate Staff Strike? Because we can take it right back out. No, I don't hate Staff Strike. Okay. I I love Staff Strike as a card. I want it to be good. Yeah. I just think selling out for Staff Strike is bad. I think Staff Strike being a technique for your for your strategy is great. Mm -hmm. Right? But I think I think 4xing Staff Strike and playing a 16 attack deck as Momo and being like, "Yo, I got a Staff Strike or nothing." I think uh I think is not a good play. But I think having double Staff Strike, if I see it, I see it. It's fine. The rest of my stuff can still kill you cuz it's all crazy fast, you know? Yeah. Legit. Yeah. That's fair. Um, besides that, I guess your high blocks are fine, right? Let's take a, another peek. Is there a number that you are not okay going over, uh, deck-wise? No. I, if ratio is the important thing for me. I Love don't that. care about the count. Love that. Um, get rid of these death strikes out of here. Um... Special sound is that a four of you're so obvious at the two of. Interesting. I uh I was thinking about because I have midnight, if I don't I don't need all four specialists of sounds. But it's a backup in case they don't have a lot of keywords. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it deals with flash tags where midnight cannot, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh yeah. like we have another flash tag coming out inside of the air symbol, right? So like maybe maybe air flash and I believe it is a charge, right? I believe yeah. that that the shrapnel card, right? I haven't looked at it too terribly close because it was like. Yeah, I think it is charged because it gets the damage like bonus that. off of Jiro and not speed bonus. Yeah, it's a two two seven, on a five diff two low block. That is a tall order. <laughs> this thing does hit like a truck in Jiro though. Um, yeah. But yeah, I I think uh I think that. Yeah, I think you need specialized a special sound. And at the at the worst, right, you commit it and then like you still get your speed off of it, right? Or your plus speed, right? At the very yeah. least, if you feel like it's not you being useful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Double you're so obvious. Hit me with it. Why not just in the sideboard? Uh I just like it as a backup plan. You know, sometimes you know, sometimes it's not the speed, it's like the damage is on a move I don't have like the perfect block for, and I have either I take partial and I take a huge chunk. Or I can at least knock the damage down and then be okay taking partial. Right. Right, right, right. Um, trying to look at more stuff. Uh, yeah, I think the other thing that, like, uh, the all symbol does is, like, it actually has pretty pretty bad low blocks until the next set. So I'm glad, mm -hmm. I'm glad we're doing set two stuff. Because Rooftop Vantage is, like, a good card. Unexpected Hero is a good card as long as you can... Like, as long as they are down to uh, discard cards, you know? Or even just, like, yeah. flip minus speed. Like, flip for minus three speed and then plus three speed, and then you just commit an respect to hero for the plus three speed back. It just said flip a foundation for... Uh, flip commit for three three. And that's, like, a good exchange yeah. rate. But I don't, I don't think it's better than you're so obvious, because, like, we already have good, like, uh, offensive tools. Right? Like, our, yeah. our, our attacks already kill people. Mm -hmm. I, th I think... Uh... 
Stomp is nice because it is a, a a low block I can grab if I need. Yeah. Because I can grab it on my opponent's turn too. Right. One hundred percent. Yeah. That means we're allowed to like be a little lighter on the low blocks as long as we can make a stomp hit. I mean, that's that's just testing, right? Like testing is gonna say whether we can uh we can get away with seventeen low blocks or not. And be a little yeah. little higher on the the mids and the highs, but at the same time, four of these mid blocks aren't. Yeah, basically, you don't want to block with. <laughs> <Aren't>. <laughs> but there's zeros, so they'll always be on the board, unless you like accidentally draw them on a staff strike late in a turn. Yeah. Yeah, man, I like this. I like this deck a lot. Yeah, I'm excited to try it out and play it. For sure. Is there anything on here that you that you vehemently disagree with that you just absolutely no. hate? Can't stand? No, 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 oh. absolutely not. It's all solid. Okay. I'm excited to see what Box World Babies does with a non uh, uh, hot spec player. Yeah, I think even if, if like just draw one, discard one is just solid because it's just free. It's not there's no drawback to it. I agree completely. The question is is uh, is is it good enough on turns two through four or three through five to like not build the foundation? You know, that's the question. Right. Yeah. I yeah. Hopefully, so, I just. But, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think so too. I just but. I, with Unwavering Slash, I'm going to cheat in a lot of these, too. So Ooh, I'm like, good free. point, good point. And another free, card that should be on the Free cycling. List. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, then with that, I think we are... I think we're good. I think Midnight is going to be a terror for the rest of her life. <laughs> I think yeah. it's going to be very, very good forever and ever and ever. I agree. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy I'm getting, I have one coming, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the heck out of this deck. I think it looks really fun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, buddy. Well, let me uh, let me send this deck over to you, and thank you for your support over on Patreon. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks for all the awesome content. <laughs> You're very welcome. All right. We'll see you.